Urologist Katie McNeil is here with me now as we take a live look in Newport. We aren't, we aren't dealing with any storm aftermath things or anything like that, but it's been humid and it's going to be really hot next week, right? Yes, the humidity has certainly been a factor the past several days and we're going to continue to see that high humidity as well as very warm temperatures Sunday through Wednesday. So another potential heat wave ahead the next several days here. Let's take a look outside right now though in Narragansett. Very cloudy conditions still across our area although we're looking much drier now overall for the rest of this evening and overnight. But kind of the main weather headline we're tracking now is going to be that heat and humidity starting on Monday with a heat advisory and an excessive heat watch in place for Tuesday. Your temperatures right now very mild outside. We're at 77 in Providence down towards the coast, just slightly cooler right now in Newport at 73. Taunton still right around 80 degrees at 81 right now. And with that, very humid. No surprise there all across our area with those dew points well into the 70s. Dew points will be slightly more comfortable tomorrow in the upper 60s, hence why there's no heat advisory for tomorrow, but it still will be very warm on Sunday with highs around 90. With that though, in the meantime, tracking patchy fog overnight tonight with those high dew points that'll lead way to a much drier but sunny and warm Sunday. Very hot temperatures around 90 degrees with again that heat advisory in place starting Monday morning. And let's take a look at that temperature trend for the next several days. So the qualifications could be there for our next heat wave with four days in a row. Very warm temperatures, especially Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Heat index values could reach well into the low hundreds up to 170 degrees on Tuesday and let's take a look at that heat index forecast here as we head towards your Sunday afternoon heat index values in the low 90s with slightly less oppressive dew point values but we'll jump right back up as we head towards Monday with those heat index values around 100 degrees potentially even slightly higher than that in some spots by Monday afternoon so nevertheless very warm conditions over the next couple days your satellite and radar right now with a stationary front in place although the main round of showers, uh, moderate to heavy showers we were seeing earlier today are moving offshore. We do have the stationary front in place as we head towards the late evening, so can't rule out the chance for a lingering spot shower, maybe a downpour or two as we head towards the overnight, but overall much drier over the next several hours. As we head towards midnight and the overnight hours, the only changes will be that patchy fog working its way through our area here. As we head towards your Sunday morning as well, we'll already be pretty mild with temperatures in the upper 70s by 8 a.m. That'll lead to a very quick warm up by the afternoon with your highs right around 90 degrees. Again, dew points slightly less oppressive in the upper 60s, which I think is why that heat advisory was held off until Monday because the feel like temperatures will be closer to that true temperature value. But nevertheless, still a very warm day tomorrow. Temperatures not cooling off all that much, still well into the 70s as we head towards the overnight. Now your Sunday morning here again. It'll be mild to start with a little bit more clouds, maybe some lingering patchy fog as well, especially down towards the coast early. That'll lead way to increasing sunshine as we head towards the afternoon. Again, with those highs right around 90 degrees, a very warm day on tap and really just the beginning here for that heat that we're tracking over the next several days. Taking a look here Sunday, we're going to see those highs right around 90. Those highs will continue to stay well into the 90s as we head towards Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday with that high humidity as well. We could see the feel like temperatures, which is what our main concern is into the hundreds. So uh, if you're going to be out and about the next few days, I know now a lot of people kind of back to work after vacations and whatnot, but just be mindful if you are outside to try to limit that outdoors time as much as possible. This is the second week in a row we're seeing higher temperatures, but these are much higher than what we saw last yeah, week. Yeah, these are the high highest heat index values we've seen so far this season into the hundreds. So why we want people to be where to just be safe and stay hydrated out there the Drink next few days. Drink a lot of water. Yes, 100%. <laughs> All right, thanks so much. Now coming up in sports, weather being a pest for the final round of the Rhode Island Amateur.